No test can be left unanswered. An hour and 45 minute weather delay split that test into sections as Notre Dame escapes Raleigh, North Carolina with a 45-24 victory over NC State. Now, the Irish held a 3-0 lead moments into the second quarter before both teams were sent to their respective locker rooms. The Irish unwinded, took off their pads, and made adjustments, allowing Notre Dame to find the answers on the road in the first test of the season that started with one question from head coach Marcus Freeman. Who cares how the game started? Who cares about the two-hour delay? Let's go out there and play ball and, and be aggressive as heck. And, and that's what the, I wanted our team to be is aggr aggressive. We keep all week we're talking about you know how aggressive they are and, and those things, and, and rightfully so. I mean, it's a good football team we face. But I wanted our guys with the mentality that we're not going to play pass. We're going to be just as aggressive as any team we face. The key to being aggressive? Meet. During the delay, Notre Dame staff brought the team hot dogs and bratwurst from the concession stand, helping the team stay game ready as they'd hold a 10-point lead at halftime. When it's two-hour delay, like those big boys get hungry. But now I think the coaches might have got a little bit more hungry than the players. I saw some coaches having hot dogs. But in the second half, mistakes piled up. Multiple penalties and a lost fumble led to NC State pulling within seven points twice. We knew that every play wasn't going to be a given play. It wasn't going to be an easy play. We we're going to have to scrap and fight for it, and that's kind of what we did. And it was a great, great battle, and we just had to keep on going even if the play wasn't going to hit because we just had to stick to it, and it was eventually it was going to hit, and that's what happened in the second half. You know, in those moments, it's easy to panic and start yelling and screaming and, and, and create chaos amongst the team. But to be able to get to the sideline and say, okay, what went wrong on that last series? What do we need to do to get adjusted and then go out and go play? Today you saw them reach, you know, face some adversity and be able to respond. That's a part of a championship team, right? It is never going to be perfect as we, you know, the first two games really there wasn't that much adversity, you know, but this game there was. And so the ability to respond, man, during tough times, is, 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 it shows leadership and it shows the, the truly the, the, the heart of this team. Freeman was also asked how good he thinks this team is, and he said, that's still to be determined. But what he did see was a ceiling for what is possible when the Irish do face pressure and an outside factor, such as the weather and also the road atmosphere. As the 10th ranked Notre Dame Fighting Irish return home next weekend 3 0 as they get ready to face Central Michigan at Notre Dame Stadium. Reporting in Raleigh, Bennett Wise, WSBT 22 Sports. I'm Pete Byrne from WSBT 22 News. For more Notre Dame stories, like and subscribe to the WSBT 22 YouTube page. Thanks for watching.